a new home in Europe. The European Union has unveiled plans to allow more refugees from poor nations and conflict zones to resettle on its territory, a move that officials say will benefit not only the refugees. It will also uh, alleviate the pressure that some third countries that host major refugee populations feel today. It is a concrete expression of our solidarity with these countries and with the refugees themselves. And it is also a concrete attempt to fix Europe's track record on the issue. According to the United Nations, out of over 65,000 refugees resettled last year, the European Union accepted less than 5,000, or a mere 7%. This is in sharp contrast with numbers taken by developed countries. It's good to get as many member states as possible in the program. So once they're in, we can start and build a very strong program and really try to increase the places. So for the moment, I don't think it's a bad idea that it's voluntary. It will be up to individual member states whether to resettle refugees in the first place. As an incentive, the European Refugee Fund will offer member states 4,000 euros per every resettled person. Despite the voluntary nature of the program, critics have called it an attempt by Brussels to dictate to national governments who they should accept. NGOs called such criticism unfounded. It's not going to be the case that certain caseloads will be imposed on member states. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. EU member states will decide together every year which group should be given priority. Iraqi and Somali refugees, for example, make up two of the biggest groups in need for resettlement. The conflict in Iraq has resulted in over two million people being displaced to countries like Syria and Jordan. While intended to discourage migrants from trying to enter the European Union illegally, the EU resettlement program analysts say does not directly address what is an entirely separate but no less serious issue, illegal immigration. A problem that raised a lot of controversy after reports that Italy, without prior screening, returned boats full of African migrants to Libya, where they could face torture. There are detention circumstances that are uh, appalling and there is a risk, an effective risk of people that deserve and need protection to even be sent back to their countries of origin. EU officials vowed to strengthen Frontex, the EU agency in charge of border control. According to human rights organizations, since 1993, over 13,000 hopeful refugees have died in their attempt to reach Europe. Anamoya Press TV, Brussels.